Hi, this is Rene Riva for the Law and Hardy Forum, and I'm going to have an interview with actress Jean Darling, who we all know from our gang. But of course, she did a lot of more things in showbiz. Jean, welcome. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. It's great to see you again. Yes. After our other interview. Well, we haven't seen each other really for a whole year. Yeah, that's a, that's true. That's true. You were supposed to interview me anyway in Amsterdam, and you yep. didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, didn't the time. do it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't do it. I was warned that I did. <laughs> well, I, I'm making it up to, to you now. Yeah, I know. This might go on forever. So <laughs> hold on, strap on yourself into your seats. Here we go. Jean, this is the ninth European convention yes. in uh, Ghent, in Belgium. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are a celebrity uh, guest here. Yes. I don't know uh, what we can expect from uh, from the, the coming days, but I think uh, you you're going to enjoy uh, yourself because of course I am. you like the conventions, don't you? Yes, I do. I like them very much. I particularly like it when I go to Holland or something mm -hmm. here because you get three kisses. Kiss, kiss, kiss. That's what's <laughs> so nice. Yeah, we always give three kisses. That's true. That's yeah, true. that's what's so. Nice. <laughs> so you come for the kisses? Uh-huh, and I said, the see, then, then I get all these kisses and I mm -hmm. save them up. And so then through the whole year until the next convention or two years, whatever it is, I take them out every night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very sweet. That's, that's great. great. That's great. It gets me through the year. <laughs> Jean, uh, we are going to watch Law and Honey movies, of course, uh, during this convention. Yes. Uh, why do you think it's so important to preserve these classics for a future audience? Well, there are a number of reasons. One is, to be very basic, is Stan and Babe knew their trade. Yeah. Uh, today the comics do not know their trade. They be funny, mm -hmm. they are not funny. Okay. Um, to be funny, you have to go about whatever you're doing mm -hmm sincerely as though this is the way you would do it if you happen to be in that situation. You can't do like they do in so many of them today is, oh yeah, mm -hmm. they, they, they aren't funny, they're not funny, they're, they're just crude. And yeah. also, um, so much of humor comes in four letter words yeah, to shock the... I, I know what you mean. And, yeah. uh, or innuendo. Yeah, that's true. Or um, something to do with uh, some portion mm -hmm. of your anatomy. Yeah, I know what you mean. And uh, that was what was so lovely about Stan and Babe. They have nothing that you have to bleep for. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nothing you have to put the thing around the mouth so you can't no. see what the word is for. Everything is clean and sweet yes. and lovely and sincere. And oh, like when he's cutting the, the pole down, <laughs> and Babe doesn't know it's going to come down, and you know it in you the know. audience that it's going to come yeah. down, and you can't stand it. Toad in a hole is, is yeah. a short uh, what you were talking yes, about. Yes, yeah. well, that's one of my favorites too. It just the scene is so great, and but it's so great because they told you what they're going to do. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you already know, know what they're gonna what's do going to happen. And and that, that's, yeah, that's wonderful. It's wonderful. But but are there are comedians, uh, recent comedians? I mean, uh, people uh, like uh, sadly uh, passed away. John Candy, for instance. I thought he was one of of, of the people uh, who was, could he make was, he was a family good. friendly movie. Uh, Lemon was good. Jack Lemon. Yes. And Walter Matthau. And Walter Matthau, but they were from an old school of, yeah. of, of comedy. And what people, so many people don't seem to know, and sometimes critics, you'll see them, and I, would, I could go and I could kill them, I could kill these idiot mm -hmm. critics. Because I read, uh, now there was uh, Days of Wine and Roses was on television, and the critics said, and surprisingly, Jack Lemon, who is a comic, does quite a good job in a dramatic <laughs> role. I could have gone and shot the man because he does not have sense enough to stay no, alive. No, no. Because no, practically no dramatic actor will be able to do comedy. Mm -hmm. But every comedy 
actor can do drama because a comedy actor has timing and mm -hmm. comedy is tragedy. Now that's true, that's true. Because what it, all the time, you, you, you fall on the banana peel, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the tire uh, goes down, they, they say goodbye, goodbye, they can't go. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's all tragedy, it's something terrible is happening. Yeah. His foot. And, and mm -hmm. you know, oh my God, that's awful, you know, and this is tragedy. And when they, they ruin the house because of the trees and they, the Christmas <laughs> yeah. tree and, and the piano sliding down the stairs. <laughs> yes. I mean, this is tragedy. Yeah, that's the, the true, tragedy that's true. going to get broken. Do you think, um, well, let's put it in, in another way. You uh, were brought up with showbiz. I mm -hmm. mean, you were in showbiz from a very early age. That's mm -hmm. what your mother wanted mm -hmm. you to do. Uh, well, there came a time in your life, I think you were five then, when you started to uh, work at the Roach oh, was four. Studios. You were four. So it was 19, late 1926, I think. Yes. Because the first movie you, you played a role in was February 1927 release. Uh, I was theoretically, I was in, uh, according to Mr. Roach, when I left the gang, I was in 52 movies altogether. Yeah. I was in uh, 46 Silence and 6 Talkies. Yeah, I, I know you did more silence than talkies, uh, but in the silence there were some cameos by Stan Laurel yes. and Babe and did Babe, uh, cameos. Babe, yeah, Babe, Babe was in the, in the uh, um, Barnum and Bailey, Barnum and Ringling. Yeah. And yes. what was so, so sad, it was cut out of the movie, what they did in the movie was cut out. Um, the ostrich, well, he sees the ostrich when it comes to yeah. his room, and so mm -hmm. this is very funny, but the ostrich was also in it before, and they had him being fed, Joe Cobb fed him uh, oranges, mm. and it didn't work in the, in the film, and so he had to come back the next day and, and do some more shots of the, this uh, ostrich because she got filled up with oranges and wouldn't do her another take. And so they put a ring around the ostrich neck ah. so that the uh, oranges wouldn't go down. Mm -hmm. And then they squeezed them up like this and then the oranges <laughs> came out. And uh, I guess that uh, over the years that's been cut out of the picture right. because this is cruelty to animals. That's true, yeah. Because yeah. there it was, it was squeezing the thing and then the orange would come and out of the, the ostrich the, mouth. And you were the girl who would who would love to... to, to uh, squeeze the, the ostrich's and, 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 neck. And, and, oh, <laughs> oh. and to stick needles into people. When I, well, I didn't do that. I didn't Things. do that. No, I didn't No, but do in that. the movie. In the movie I did, but movie. I'll tell you how it happened. Mary Ann Jackson, she stuck pins in people. Ah. And she would stand there like this little angel. She did, and ouch. And they didn't there, know who it and was. And they didn't know who did it, ah. you see. And I was blamed, and mm -hmm. I was put out of the films, <laughs> always because they blamed me. She'd look and go like this, it was me. And so one day, one of the guys up in the, uh, uh, the catwalk, the electricians, yeah. he saw the, her little hand. And Mary Ann was and doing the, this. Yeah, and ah. he found out. But uh, McGowan thought it was so funny mm -hmm. that that's why he put it in the movie. And so then I got to stick yeah, things yeah. in people. It's very lovely when you're lying in the bed and then it's, it's such it's a so lovely sweet. scene. Sweet. You're so sweet, yes, yeah, sure. Yes, I'm a little angel. <laughs> I'm a little doll. Wouldn't you like to cuddle me? <laughs> was, well, you were a very cute girl, that's true. But the scene uh, with Oliver Hardy, um, he really is scared out of his wit because of this yeah. ostrich. Yes, indeed. And it it's so funny, and it, 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 it's, uh, it's in a very good moment in the movie. It doesn't come too late, but it also doesn't come too early. I know, but it's so Perfect. sad because their babe is being a drunk and throwing away his that's whiskey true. and so, yeah, <laughs> that is, and that's yeah. kind of, <laughs> uh, you don't think of babe over inviting mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, so. that's true. Well, Jean, tell me, um, when you uh, made uh, the transition to sound, mm -hmm. a lot of things changed. Uh, McGowan couldn't shout to the no. kids to say, well, uh, do this and do that, because every single noise would be recorded on, on camera. Oh, yes. It must have been very hard to, to change uh, the well, way Well, it working. was, and we weren't very good. We were sort of rotten, because, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> well, you know, we'd say things like, oh, hello, how are you? You know, I mean, learning lines was a ridiculous situation. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat, 
So I'm going, and it's horrible, but anyway, put up with me, put up with me. That's all I have to say. Uh, one must make sacrifices in life. Yeah, that's true, that's yes. true. Um, he tried a couple of uh, things, and he went to look at the, the rushes, mm -hmm. and we were so rotten that what he did was he would uh, tell us what to do when the camera wasn't mm -hmm. running, mm -hmm. and then we would do it. And then he would tell us what to do again while the camera wasn't running, and then he hoped to God we'd do it right when the camera was running. And uh, our lines, he would go over us so we would say them sort of halfway decently. But if you notice, the films aren't nearly as good after they became talkies because the kids were mm -hmm. not, they were not trained to, to no. act properly and uh, yeah. none of us were. I wasn't, um, I, I wasn't either. I mean, I wasn't saying that I was mm -hmm. any good because I never did anything that I could be any good in until I went on vaudeville and then I went into doing some shows for the director's mm -hmm. club and things like that. I, yeah. I wasn't any good. I didn't know how to do anything. Yeah. So. Well, the other day I was watching uh, the first uh, Our Gang talk, yeah, Small mm -hmm. Talk, mm -hmm. and I was baffled because um, the story is so sad because uh, Weezer is taken away from the orphanage mm -hmm. and uh, is going to uh, get a new mommy where mm -hmm. he's going to live with her. Mm -hmm. But his little sister, Marianne Jackson, is very sad. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the movie is, is, uh, is, is just saddening. It's, it's, it's not a comedy at all. Is that 